puber how can somebody start a career in the hard truth you know this desh whenever you are going for a fresher as a job it is tough to get into devops because devops engineers 80 to 90% they look for experience there are always exceptions that companies want a fresher devops engineer which is kind of rare yeah. but having said that you don't have to be worried too much about it if you are passionate about, about devops what my suggestion is that always learn at least one programming language to start with java or python go or anything just learn how to automate and learn programming language because down the lane you will see whether it is devops or anything you will always have to automate that yeah. that's the end goal right as a fresher the first thing is focus on that whether you like it or not learn shell scripting bare minimum whenever you are you are going for an interview they will say okay at least can you please automate this or solve this shell script yeah. they'll be happy with that so that is number one and number two is most of the devops engineer jobs are around systems and operations that's how you will see in the interv- in the interviews and you will see in the certifications sre devops or about are about maintaining the platforms automating the platforms and the incident responses of the platforms how do you manage the incidents you have to be passionate about that and if your expectation is that i will become a devops engineer and then i will uh, write an application or i will develop an application then that's not the right thing i mean that's not what is expected from you so your job as a devops engineer or in future it might be a platform engineer it might transform into platform engineer once companies are okay with whole the transform all transformation and automating you have to be passionate about how you can manage those systems automate the pipelines where you find a gap how can you bring this code a from uh, the git to the production either you're using kubernetes or you're using your vms so whatever it is you have to be as a fresher or even as an experienced person you have to learn all these concepts i think that's about it now it might be overwhelming that okay there are too many tools but it's not really that you have to learn everything learn at least one cloud technology whether aws or gcp or azure doesn't matter you can always debate about what cloud you want go for one cloud and learn about how to automate your code and how to put that into aws uh, whether you can learn kubernetes how to automate using terraform or cloud formation it's okay so just as a fresher learn about these things and then take smaller projects create smaller projects that can help you to learn devops in the right way the theory is very less in devops yeah. maybe some concepts are there linux concepts or networking concepts but more it is doing hands on and automating things focus more on that is what i would say all these concepts networking i mean automating tools terraform kit linux jenkins not so much now now focus more on uh, github actions gitlab ci because companies are moving towards that and then cloud